Hi, I'm Thea. I'm a makeup artist, model, and healthy beauty lover. Today I'm going to talk about Anika's Radiant Glow. This is a multitasking product. This is a ride or die product for me. I can't go without it in my personal life and in my professional makeup kit. There are so many different ways to use this. Um, what I love about it is it's perfect for any skin type and it's really going to give any skin type that ultimate dewy glow, that glass skin we've been seeing all over the runways. And it's easy to achieve just using this a few different ways. So this oil is rich in rose, geranium, aloe, willow bark. It is packed, it is so nutrient dense. And what I love about all of Anika's products, especially this one is that not only are you getting beautiful makeup benefits and you're feeling wonderful and you're looking refreshed, but it's doing something for your skin. So I'm going to use this as a primer on half my face and show you what my foundation looks like. Um, I use this as a primer for myself or before models on set. It really gives a glow. If you have a more mature client, this is really going to give them that luminosity that they crave. And if someone is a more oily skin type, you can selectively put this on parts of their face to really bring out the glow in the places that they want. And it's prepped with the Phytofuse Renew Serum and then a little bit of the facial oil. I really love a glow. My skin is super dehydrated right now. I'm nine months pregnant, so this baby is sucking everything out of me so the more glow I can get the better so I'm gonna go ahead and prime half my face I'm just gonna use my hands you can use a makeup brush I'm gonna see from one side to the next this half of my face that has the radiant glow is lifted it looks more supple and hydrated so I'm gonna put liquid foundation on half with the radiant glow and then without so we can see the difference Going in with the liquid foundation, I am shade beige. I'm just gonna use the back of my hand. You could use a palette. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the foundation brush because I need a little bit more coverage today. Have some breakouts going on. My hormones are crazy. See how this just glides right onto the skin. Okay, so this is with Radiant Glow. And let's do the other half. This half has Radiant Glow and the liquid foundation, and this side just has the beautiful liquid foundation. It's definitely more matte. I feel like this side looks more lifted, more glowy, more dewy, and you can already see that beautiful luminosity where this is a little bit more flat, and that's great for some clients but I really love the glow and that's very in and trendy right now. And glow is beautiful for all skin types where matte can be a little bit tricky. Maybe if you have some fine lines or wrinkles, I can kind of see some of the things I still need to cover on this side. And then this side looks like it's pretty covered and it just glides right on the skin and takes less time to blend. Another way I like to use this is if we were just using liquid foundation, we could go over our cheekbones as a highlight on top. And you can really see how pretty, how much dimension the skin has. It looks very hydrated, well cared for skin. One thing I love about Radiant Glow is it's kind of like a magic eraser. So I'm gonna go in with some of the foundation powder this never really looks cakey, but say you went overboard with some powder. I'm just kind of going in where I need a little bit more coverage. You can go on top of where maybe you feel like it's a little too powdery with the Radiant Glow and it just really diffuses it. So I kind of have my five minute face on. I put on a little bit of the foundation powder all over. Then I went in with some peachy keen blush and a little bit of bronzer, set my brows with the brow perfector. And I'm going to show you two other ways to use Radiant Glow. So on top of the powder, I'm going to use this as a highlight. Now what's amazing about Anika's products are because they're mineral based, you don't have to worry about things separating. They actually work better together when they're layered. So cream on top of powder, on top of liquid. It just looks more skin-like. 
the more you layer and look how pretty that is right just it looks lit from within the last way i'm going to use radiant glow is definitely for more of an editorial look i use this on set on some models it looked absolutely beautiful it translated from camera to everyday life so for a bride or a special event or you're just going out to dinner with your girlfriends this is for you so i have pink whisper in a cap i have the wonderful eyeshadow brush and i'm going to take a drop of radiant glow and I'm going to mix it together and create this kind of like wet pink pigment. And it's just going to look super fresh and bright and takes two seconds to do. And because we can layer creams on top of powders, this is not going to separate. It's just gonna blend into the skin. I wanted to take this makeup look outside so you could just see the glow. I had a ring light in my room, um, which is beautiful lighting, but you can really see the integrity of the glow outside. And that way you're able to see it transfer from different lightings. It looks just absolutely amazing. I hope you love Radiant Glow as much as I do. It is a ride or die hero product for me, and I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one.